What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing, everybody on the World Wide Web? Brian Scoop Nemeth coming at you right here, right now on SuperwomanDesigns.net. We have here two very fine models and dancers right here, Kat Calamaras and Anna Potter. No relation to Harry Potter. <laughs> They're the ladies with a dance troupe called Bonnie's on Tap. They're experienced dancers and they're models with an awesome portfolio. And they're sporting right now the Wondersuit collection from My Superwoman Designs. This, what Anna Potter's sporting is the Wonder Piece, the one piece with the belly cut out and the racer back, oh yeah. And Kate Dang. Kat Calamaras is sporting the Wonderkini, a different kind of Wonderkini with that kind of awesome top, one shoulder. Never been done before because I usually do sports bra and bikini bottom, but woo, <laughs> did, what a great job I did. <laughs> So before we get to this model and dance stuff, let's get to know you a little bit. Kat Calamaras hails from Crystal Lake, Illinois, which is the suburb of Chicago. And Anna Potter, no relation to Harry Potter, hails from Morgantown, West Virginia. Let me ask you something. Uh-oh. Before coming to Colorado, what was life like in your hometowns? Well, um, being from the suburbs of Chicago, it's very different than here. Um, especially being a dancer and model. Um, I was doing both back in Chicago, but moved here to dance and continue my dance career here. Um, mm -hmm. It's just... Been dancing ever since you've <laughs> been there. dancing ever since I've been little and came out here to continue that passion. So it's been quite an honor. <laughs> what about you? What was life in like in Morgan's <coughs> Mor what was life like in Morgantown, West Virginia? Well, Morgantown, West Virginia is the biggest town in West Virginia by a long shot. I was you know, dancing ever since I was a little kid and I would play in the mud and in the rivers on the weekends. Um, and growing up dancing there, I got to work with the only professional dance company in West Virginia. Um, and that was very exciting. So I moved here to expand my horizons and deepen my training and expand my professional portfolio. West Virginia, mountain mama. Take me home, <laughs> country roads. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of remind me of John Denver, like <laughs> West Virginia, mm -hmm. country roads, and coming here to Colorado to mm -hmm. experience a Rocky Mountain High. Exactly. It's the Mountain Exchange Program. John Denver <laughs> set it up. <laughs> he sure did. That's for shizzle. So when did you start dancing, and what got you interested in dance? Um, I've been dancing since I've been two, so basically my whole life. Um, I just have described it as I'm one of those little girls that was put in dance and didn't quit. And I started with ballet. I did ballet my whole life. Um, I think it's still kind of my favorite just because of the technique and quality that goes into being a ballerina. Um, but from there I've expanded to just about everything. Started really doing a lot of modern dance in college and the, now I'm professionally doing more modern dance. And, <laughs> what about you? What got you interested in dance? So I was in a dance studio when I was a little, little girl, um, just because that's what all the little girls in my elementary school did. And I quit when my best friend quit, because I was like, I don't want to do it if she's not doing it. And then I didn't get back into dancing until the seventh grade. I joined our middle school dance team, and it was like very cute and cutesy <laughs> um, and after that I realized I really liked it and it wasn't just a social thing so I got back into a dance studio in high school and it was very much the classic training of ballet five times a week and jazz four times a week and 
the tap and the acro and all of that. And then I got into modern later in my career and it has become my deepest love. <laughs> Do you guys like sports? Oh, absolutely. I love mountaineer football. Kind of. <laughs> hey, if you ever thought about being pro dancers, pro cheerleaders for the Denver Broncos or the Nuggets? Well, we're not tall enough. Yeah. To be honest, um, there's you have a lot to be of five five mm -hmm, <laughs> at least, and so I know there's like the outlaws and stuff. That's a possibility for us for like mm -hmm. the lacrosse team, but um, I think our training is a little bit more. I know we've talked about it. And we're both more company dancers, mm -hmm. maybe commercial one day. Mm -hmm. But um, I've never really thought too much about doing sports. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of cheerleading in high school and that was about it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of outlaws, I love the outlaws. I've been to every July 4th really? game, <laughs> every July 4th game during the season and it's become my annual ritual. Go to an outlaws game every July 4th and watch the post-game fireworks. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds fun. And unfortunately, that never happened because of this COVID-19 Oh, yeah, we crap. know what that's like. <laughs> How COVID-19 puts all of life on hold. All of the artists. Mm -hmm. time. Yeah, we're losing out on a lot. Yeah. That's for shizzle. Mm -hmm. I see both y'all are also models in Colorado and what got you interested in the second passion? Um, I've been modeling since kind of life back in Chicago. I know it started off with me. I think my coolest, one of my coolest gigs was um, there was this type of point shoe that was coming to the U.S. And they auditioned dancers in Chicago to wear them and do a runway show for black. Um, and I was selected mainly because my feet were the right size and shape for these point shoes that they brought. And that kind of really started my career, I would say, in modeling. And then moving out here, I've had the pleasure to work with numerous photographers. Um, Bill Murph, Scott Lee is who mm -hmm. we've worked with as well. Yeah. Um, Jamie Alexander. Um, there's so many names. Um, but just, <laughs> yeah, it's been really cool to work with everybody mm -hmm. I've gotten to meet so far. So mm -hmm. it's been really cool to bring Bonnie's into modeling more so as well, especially with COVID going on. We didn't really look into modeling until mm -hmm. recently, so it's been really <laughs> fun. Yeah. So uh, I got into modeling um, because I think I've always liked doing fashion-y things, and I've certainly always loved being the center of attention. <laughs> um, when I was a little kid, I, like, would go shopping with my mom and then I'd have to try everything on for her when we got home so that she oh, could like funny. see what it looked like. Um, but I didn't actually really start modeling until Kat and I started dancing together about a year ago. Um, I just never, I thought you like had to like be found by an agency and, and then tall. they would hire you. Mm -hmm. And I did think you had to be tall mm -hmm. and being five, one and a half, I didn't think it was possible. Um, but since living in Colorado and working with Kat, we've made a lot of connections and it turns out that modeling does pair really well with dance. Especially because in it's Colorado, it's really open here. So it's been really nice to experience such open opportunities, I guess, to model and do runway and things that I never ever thought I could do, especially in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Ever walk the runway at Denver's Unique Week of Fashion, Denver Fashion Week? any kind of fashion event? We would love to, <laughs> but we have not yet not had the yet, opportunity no. because of our I know stature. I've heard of it when I first moved here, but it was a little too, it was when I just moved here, so it was a little rushed for me to try to jump mm -hmm. into that right away, but it's definitely on the bucket list. It's on the bucket <laughs> list, for sure. <laughs> As we all know, there are many great cities to pursue modeling. New York, LA, Chicago, Paris, Milan, Las Vegas, lots of great ways to pursue model and dance, lots of great cities to do so, but why Colorado? Um, well, I would say the openness. Um, mm -hmm. I know I moved here originally for a dance company, um, mm -hmm. and so before that I had no intentions of moving to Colorado whatsoever, to be dead honest. I came mm -hmm. here with some friends on a trip and ended up basically to an extent just staying and did not know that the modeling and dance world would be such a positive outlook here. It's been really nice to get into those two hobbies out here. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. What about you? Why Colorado, Anna? So for me, Colorado came down to a lot of the right things in the same place. I did look at a lot of different cities when I was moving out of West Virginia, where there is not a lot going on. <laughs> I was looking for opportunity. I was looking for culture. I was looking for scenery and outdoor activity. Um, so there were many places under my radar. I thought about Vegas. I thought about San Francisco and Los Angeles. I thought about Portland and New York and Chicago. But once I came to Colorado and I learned that there really was dance and modeling yeah. to do here. Well, at the time it was just dance. Modeling still newer <laughs> for me. Um, but once I did see how much dance and opportunity and culture there was in the area, it was a, it was a no brainer for the first move. As dancers and models, what challenges do you face every day? Do you want to take this one away first? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, I feel like um, it's a hard question. The, the nature of visual arts is uh, the visual aspects of the body. So being models and dancers, body is our number one concern. This body that we live in, that we feed and exercise and take care of. So I'd say the number one struggle is to make sure you're taking care of your vessel, which seems a lot simpler and more straightforward than it really it is. is yeah. um, because to be a dancer and a model, you're expected to be at your absolute peak. Whatever that means for you, you're expected to be at your own personal peak. And one of the hardest things is A, to figure out what that peak is, what it looks like, what to do to get there, and how to make it something that's feasible for you to do every and day. And how to stay on top while you're there. Exactly. I think is the other big yeah. problem being it, or mm -hmm. what am I trying to say? Yeah. Oh. It's the other biggest aspect, aspect of being of, a dancer. Of yeah. dancing, modeling. Yeah. There's so much that goes mm -hmm. into it. And I know we've, we're best friends, so we've yeah. talked a lot, but there's a lot of tears. and. Mm -hmm. But the moments of being on stage and doing what we love are totally worth, worth every, every, every second. Penny. Yeah, every blood, every drop of blood, sweat, and tears, it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, it really is. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Me neither. <laughs> so, and how does modeling and dance go together like peanut butter and jelly? Well, we can hold our posture, I would absolutely hope or say pretty well. And yeah. so I think <laughs> I know when we model, we kind of get into dance. Um, mm -hmm. I know when we start posing, it turns mm -hmm. into almost this modern improvisation that mm -hmm. kind of turns out really beautiful for a few shots. And yeah. so I think we kind of have that yeah. avant-garde look or movement going down. And I think that's been my biggest help in modeling. Mm -hmm. Although there's a lot of differences, like, you know, in ballet, there's no S-curve. It's <laughs> you all straight, be straight up and, and down. So I know I struggle with that a lot. And sticking things out or sticking things in, but I mean, yeah. most of the time they go together. Yeah, yeah, I think the number one rooting concept between dance and modeling is the body, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, in dance, yeah. so in dance and modeling both, you are always analyzing your relation to your viewer. So if you already have that study and that that uh, <laughs> work, work and hours put in with dance to really understand how your body relates to itself, to the ground and to your audience and the world around you, then you're already a couple steps ahead in modeling because it's easier with modeling because it's just one little camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The S curve, the stand up straight, everything modeling and dance go together. Mm -hmm paying attention to the body and make, making those dance moves mm -hmm. like modeling poses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know our angles. Oh right? yeah, you, you have to know your angles. Angle, at least. <laughs> yeah. You want to know what also goes together? L swimming, running, biking, everything all together which you can do in the wonder suits from Superwoman Designs. Don't they just look awesome? Oh yeah. <laughs> you can do everything, including dance in the suits. That's because the chamois pad stops the suit from riding up the butt. No more wedgies, no more adjusting the suit bottom everything stays put especially when you're doing a lot of dance moves <laughs> and the wick away blocks out sweat and eliminates odors during workouts or dance routines 
and it's made right here in Colorado and lots of great lots of great things you can do in the wonder suit especially run a tri run bike swim in the triathlon and whoo we don't they look good i'm words cannot describe how beautiful they look in the wonder suit collection because i did an amazing job custom making the suits for these two ladies which you're going to see dance in them in just a few minutes they're sixty dollars and you can get them custom made to fit your breast size hip size and waist size tell us your cup size and we can put in as always chamois pads to stop the suit from riding up the butt Imagine, no more wedgies, no more unsightly camel toe. What the? Sorry. <laughs> None of that. Just the perfect suit for running, biking, swimming, exercising, and even dance. So come on right now to superwomandesigns.net and custom order the wonder suit. Now, let's get back to you. Tell me about this Bonnie's on Tap, the two-woman dance troupe. How did that come about? Well, um, this started as a kind of first-time gig with a band called Just a Girl. They are a No Doubt tribute band, and they needed Hollerback Girls, so mm -hmm. we gladly <laughs> volunteered, especially being, um, we've danced with each other previously in a company before called Ethereum. Mm -hmm. And after that, we kind of, especially in dance, after you do a contracted season, we never thought we'd ever really see each other again. Yeah. And <laughs> it ended up that we went to this concert and danced with them, and other people reached out, and now we're making a business of it. Um, mm -hmm. We just got our LLC. Um, we're now doing music videos, um, private events, gigs, festivals, parties, you name it. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a really exciting opportunity for us to really indulge in this business and mm -hmm. um, be dancing professionally, especially doing our own thing, having our mm -hmm. own contract has just been such a blessing, especially when you do it with somebody you love. It's really cool to see the creative process and everything we do. Um, and so our gimmick is, uh, there's kind of a little like bunny and cat gimmick, and so I'm Bonnie with a Y, and she's Bonnie with an I, and we created this little business as backup dancers for hire, and and it's it, all thanks to Carla Weichel. It's it, completely, completely. Thank Love you, you, Carla. Carla. <laughs> Tell me about Carla Weichel. So she was, she is the leader of the Just a Girl tribute band, she's and she singer. was the first person to hire us as a backup dancing duo. And after one of their shows, Carla and Kat and I were sitting around with a couple other folks and the idea came up, well, hey, you guys should do this professionally. And we stopped and we looked at each other and we were like, yeah, yeah we, we should. should. Yeah. yeah, we should. Let's go make some business cards. What's our name going to be? And, it, and we just haven't slowed down since. Yeah, it really <laughs> took off. And mm -hmm. No, it's been, it, we are actually just celebrated our year like yeah. a few days ago, which is just, Unbelievable. One so. year in business together. One year in business together. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So say if a local rapper or a local band is looking for backup dancers. We're in. <laughs> and for a music video or a local concert, you're the ladies to definitely That's jump on board. what we want to do. Absolutely, and we do have a wide range of offerings depending on what kind mm -hmm. of show or genre. Especially or being really so differently trained from mm -hmm. ballet to jazz. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of punk rock shows, which we never thought we would do. Mm -hmm. um, we performed with rappers. We've done, what else has we, have we done? We've, uh, we've done, done a fair bit like of live performance. We've done music bands. videos. Yeah. We've worked with jam bands. We, we like to have a wide range mm -hmm. of genres. We actually genres might be we traveling next month. Yeah, we, we, we are going to be traveling to Chicago, Chicago next month. for a few gigs. So that's mm -hmm. been really... Your hometown. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we had some people reach out that 
again, I never thought I'd talk to again, but the artist world is so small, it's really cool to mm -hmm. go back and give back, I guess, too. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Anything else we need to know about Bonnie's on Tap? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have a project coming up. We are filming right now a dance short. It's our very first mm -hmm. dance it's video that we have on filmed. Halloween. So we're, it will release on Halloween for that's your viewing pleasure. All we really want to say about it. We've been we're really excited about it, but go watch our dance video and yeah. check out Bonnie's on Tap, tap Facebook, at Instagram, Instagram, Facebook at gmail.com and you will find our video releasing on Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we also have the, the page, the, what's it called again? The foundation page? Oh yeah, our Facebook page does have a donate button Thank if you, you feel so inclined <laughs> to support your local starving artists. Well, I'll support you starving artists. <laughs> I'll support every starving artist that comes my way because I'm a starving artist myself trying to get the business off the ground. Mm -hmm. And now what you're about to see is a demonstration of the wonder suits sworn as dancewear where it stops the suit from riding up the butt thanks to the chamois pad and how it blocks out sweat and eliminates odors during dance routines and workouts and everything. Check it out right now and take it away, ladies.